James Sabalski down at ice level is Ray Ferraro, and we are amped up to bring you what should be a dandy matchup here this evening. International showdown here tonight. Does the environment change when you're playing nationally as opposed to a club? 100% it does because it's a little bit different. You're not usually with regular teammates, so everything feels a little bit different, but you are playing for your country. Opening face-off is set to go. Referee Gilles Levesque is ready to drop the puck. Well, the hype for this one has been off the hook. Puck is dropped. Let's see if this one actually lives up to it. Right in the slot. Snaps it on net. Gets in front of it. Everything looks so easy for Carey Price. Smooth, efficient movement. There he makes an excellent stop. Takes him from the right side. Nice pass. He scores! Jumps on the rebound and buries it! You want money? You go to the bank. You want bread? You go to the store. You want goals? You get into the net. The rebound's there. He puts it away. Team Latvia's got a quick goal here early in this first period, and with it, a different energy in this crowd. Everybody gets ramped up a little bit. You score early, you hope you can. Now you have, you go get another. Looks to set up along the point. And the goalie somehow gets a piece of that one. Balas didn't take anything off this. That is a big hit. Nearing the midway mark of the period. He thought he had all kinds of room. There was none. He thought he could get by him, but he got squeezed off. That was a big hit. Stopped with ease. And now he moves it to O'Reilly. Referee's got his hand up, signaling a delayed penalty. And the puck stopper tags his man to get the extra attacker on the ice. And the official stops the play as somebody's off to the sin bin. And he's going off the interference the call, Ray. Looks like a pretty easy call to make as he completely cuts off the lane for the player to skate through. Team Canada's man advantage unit will take to the ice for the first time tonight. Well, what a great opportunity for them here. Trailing by a goal, you got a chance to even it up and you've got the man advantage. Special teams coming up huge on that goal! They take advantage of having the extra man by moving the puck quickly. That's a beautiful goal. Oh, that penalty really cost them. They're shorthanded. They could never clear the zone under all kinds of pressure. And finally, the penalty killers crack. They give up the power play goal. Here in the later stages of this period, we are all tied up in this one. This neutral zone faceoff set to go, and we are back underway. You don't want to be on the receiving end of that. That is a freight train that went right over top of them. And that'll do it for period number one. All evened up at one goal apiece. Hey, fans, don't forget our 50-50 draws coming up in the middle of the third period. Get your tickets now. That pot continues to grow. Second period still to come. We'll take a quick pause and be right back with more action. Taken down, and the officials caught it. Quick whistle stops the play. Sin bin bound for tripping. I always hated taking tripping penalties. It always felt like there was something I could have done better than that. Oh, that's a good hit. Team Canada's got control of it now from their own end. They've got numbers. It's a two-on-one. Scores! And he puts his team in front. 
looked really comfortable as a tie game. Now they're ahead. They've got to continue to push. Teams are usually more conservative killing penalties than this. They make a mistake, now they give up the man advantage break. The power play doesn't miss on the rush. Canada's gone up by one here in this second period. Pretty important goal to get to break the tie here as you get into the middle frame and now you have a chance to control maybe the way the game's played. Over the line they come, trying to get in all alone! And where'd that one go? Why it doesn't get on the net, he misses the net as he tries to make the perfect play. Moves right to the middle, lets the wrister fly. He scores! That's how you do it! Leadership to a T! The captain capitalizes! You've got to get rid of that puck in a hurry from that spot on the ice. You're in the high slot, you're open, but you know everybody's converging on you. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. Tosses it to Marchand. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. Hammers Whoa. it, he scores! Well, they break the tie here, James. This game had been hotly contested since it's been level. They now have found a way to jump into the lead. Ah, uh, the goalie just can't keep up to this, James. The pass is in the wheelhouse, and he hammers it past the goalie into the net. given themselves control of this game now with a one goal lead in the second. They'd like to get another before they go in for the second intermission. You'd love at least a couple goal lead going into period three. Comes up with the stop as he got a piece of the blocker on it. Make the save, help yourself out at the same time. Good stop, but the better part is that he gets the puck away from the front of the net. Big save right at the end. And that'll do it for period number two. As both teams head to the rooms, it's a 3-2 hockey game. Hey kids, don't forget if you're a member of our rookie team, you'll have the opportunity to have a couple of our players sign autographs after the game. Big third period still to come. We'll get ready for it. Hope you'll join us. Like that. Team Canada's not stopped being on the body since the beginning of this period. They are crashing into every guy they can. They've now got the lead. Still plenty of time left in this frame. 3 2 is where we're sitting. The frozen biscuits dropped, and we are back underway here. Quick pass to Crosby. Moves the pace, scores! Oh, it's a nifty move. You get in tight to the goalie. Sometimes you run out of room, but he went to the backhand. Nicely done and beats the goalie. Canada's goal has now extended their lead to two here early in the third. You couldn't ask for a better start in the third here. This is the way you draw it up. This is what you talk about between periods. Rarely does it come out and your team is as effective as they were. Latvia's got the puck along the boards. And he's tripped up on the play. Referee's hand goes up here. 
Time for the official to pass down his sentence. And he's heading to the box for two for tripping on this one. This is such a bad penalty to take because you put yourself yeah. in a bad spot. A player falls down, now you're cooked. You go to the box. Well, he's got two minutes to think about it now. Carries it in. Quick pass across to Crosby. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. Denied by the goaltender. There's another stop. Handles the saucer pass beautifully. He scores! Oh, the defensive team is dog tired. Their tongues are hanging out of their mouth here. They just got outworked onto the puck and eventually they give up the goal. Team Laffy has come back with a big one here in the third. Grind away, dig away, now you got a chance. Only trailing by one goal. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. Nice pass back. The sense of urgency Whoa. has really set in. They pulled the goalie, the extra attacker's out. Feeds it on over to McDavid. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. Staring at an empty net, and breathe. I got two of these in my career. I was never out at the end of the game. You had 400 goals and only scored two empty netters? Yeah, when we were protecting the lead, it was safest with me sitting down. What an indictment. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, now you got a couple of goal lead here with the empty netter. That should be enough to put this away. added to their lead with the empty netter and Ray that's pretty much all she wrote I would say well you grind away to get the lead through this much of the game and they pull the goalie they're gonna pressure you you put it away with an easy one into the empty net with possession along the wall moves the puck denies him on the slobber finds some space in the corner save made by the goalie long jam in front that's broken up and that'll close the book on this one as the final horn sounds. They kept getting to throw that power play back out there, James. Finally, they were able to execute and cash in on them. That was the difference. They looked really good and effective on some nights where that power play can be a bit of a clunker. Not tonight. And that'll do it from ringside, everyone. For Ray Ferraro, my name is James Sabalski. Get home safely. Thanks so much for joining us.